I'm really surprised by this, honestly. Courtesy of BBC News. Furnace founder Elizabeth Holmes jailed for fraud. She's actually going to prison, people. I legitimately didn't think she'd see the inside of a prison cell ever, in my opinion. I thought she'd find a way to get out of it. She'd pay a hefty fine. She might do some community service. She might, you know, whatever. Like, I didn't think she was going to actually end up in prison, honestly. But the fact that she's going to prison is a good thing, to be fair. Um, it's probably not long enough considering the damage that she caused and the people that she hurt and the money that she flipping essentially stole. But God almighty, let's read the article. Fairness founder Elizabeth Holmes has been sentenced to 11 years in prison for defrauding investors in her blood testing startup that was once valued at $9 billion. God almighty, what a fumbling. The former Silicon Valley star falsely claimed the technology could diagnose diseases with just a drop of a few drops, a few drops of blood. I'm just thinking back to the gizmo. The fact that these investors believed that well, that thing actually worked the way the attendance would work is legitimately hilarious, man. It looked like something that you'd see in a sci-fi TV show. Like you could just prick your blood, put it in there and it could tell you. Like, come on, man, come on. Um, Holmes 38, who is pregnant. Oh my gosh, she's pregnant. She's going to prison pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. You, am I dumb for thinking you do? I didn't know you go to prison pregnant. Who is pregnant tearfully told the court that she felt deep pain for those misled by the scam. She was found guilty on January after a three month trial. Holmes expected to appeal against the sentence, which was handed down on Friday in a California court. Yeah, they always appeal. Sentencing has been widely viewed as a test of how the justice system takes corporate fraud in the tech sector. Once held as a next Steve Jobs. Yeah, she had that voice, right? She had that voice that she was trying to do. Obviously not like that, but you know. Holmes was one of the, was at one time said to be the world's youngest self-made billionaire. Honestly, what a fall from grace. She launched Theranos after dropping out of Stanford University at age 19, and its value rose sharply after the company claimed it could bring about revolution in diagnosing of diseases. But technology Holmes touted did not work, and awash in lawsuits, the company was dissolved in 2018. God almighty, 2018 to now, you know, the trials take a long time to conclude. At Holmes' trial in San Jose, California, prosecutors said she knowingly misled doctors and patients about the Theranos flagship product, the Edison machine, which the company claimed could detect cancer. <laughs> Come on, honestly. White collar, white collar crime is the best because some of the smartest people in the world get duped. Look at this. The Edison machine said it could claim it could detect cancer, diabetes, and other conditions just from a few drops of blood. Are you insane? Don't get me wrong. I, it's, it's understandable why they all jumped on it because if they, if this machine worked as it, it, as it was intended to work, this lady would have been a trillionaire. Do you know what I mean? Like when it comes to pharmaceuticals or you know anything concerning hospitals and all that sort of stuff and diseases, yo, those things go when you when you make something that's a breakthrough that really kind of you know test open doors and stuff like that and pushes stuff forward you can imagine money would be made but the fact that they believe this machine could work to that level without actually rigorously testing it beforehand before kind of you know separate themselves with their money says a lot about these people they also accuse Holmes of vastly exaggerating the firm's performance its financial backers jurors ultimately found her guilty of four counts of fraud with a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison but they found her gu not guilty on four counts of charges and failed to reach a verdict on those three more before judge Ed Edwards issued the sentence on February. On Friday, sorry, Holmes read a speech to the court which tearfully apologized to investors and patients. Also, she finally apologized because before she was never admitting it, so she didn't do that, but she did. Her hair looks wild, isn't it? What, what what kind of hair is that? Is that because she's got really strawy hair or is that because she doesn't wash her hair? Or is she doing that thing that Amy Winehouse used to do when you kind of back home it? You remember that was a thing? Back Girls used to back home their hair. I don't know if girls do it nowadays still to kind of make it look more like, uh, have, it, have it have more volume, I think. You kind of back home it. But what is that? It looks very strawy, innit? Like, God damn it, woman. I'm never, I'm devastated by the feelings. I have felt deep pain for what the people went through because I failed them. I regret my failings with every cell in my body. The cells that I put in my machine. The judge referred to Holmes as a brilliant entrepreneur and told her, excuse me? Yo, this is white privilege, mate. This is white privilege. You get sentenced to fraud. You defrauded investors. You lied to patients. And look what the judge says to you in the sentence. The judge referred to Holmes as a brilliant entrepreneur and told her failure is normal. 
but failure by fraud is not okay. Imagine calling somebody a brilliant entrepreneur for one business that they founded. Isn't an entrepreneur that you have to do, um, you have to have multiple businesses or be, I'm sure that's what a definition of an entrepreneur is, right? Or is it just running one business? Let me look that up quickly now. Let's look up entrepreneur. I pretty much sure it's other businesses or am I, or am I mistaken? Let's see what the, the, uh, the, the max says here. Entrepreneur, a person who sets up a business or businesses taking a financial risk in the hope of profit. Okay. It's fucking hell. Damn it. I went to dunk on that word. But entrepreneur can also mean business or businesses. It's not just... It's, okay, whatever. Let's continue. Failure is normal, but failure report is not okay. He questioned whether her scheme was influenced by intoxication with fame. Wow. I love that term, man. Intoxication with fame. Interesting. And described her case as a cautionary tale for other Silicon Valley executives. No, it isn't. Because right after her came the guy that did what we work or around the same time. No one cares. There's no cautionary tale in startups. People fake it until they make it. And usually when they make it, no one remembers the fake stuff. At the moment now, there's people trying to leak evidence that they have that Elon Musk might not be as smart as people think he is in terms of education he maybe didn't go to certain colleges maybe doesn't have certain degrees he maybe didn't study certain courses and it all may be true but it doesn't matter now because he's elon musk so that fake it to you make it thing it served him right because once he made it all that stuff that he faked to you make it doesn't matter anymore because you made it now you can just shush people you got your sycophants you got your friends in the media friends in the business it just doesn't move so the fake it to you make it unfortunately works and they know it that's why they keep doing it um she was required to surrender to begin her serving a sentence on the 27th of april holmes and ramish sunny Berwan, her former partner and lover were charged in 2018 oh yeah what did he get did Berwan get charged yet prosecutors requested that she face 15 years um andrew million restitution to investors including several high profile figures such as u.s secretary of face james mattis who testified against her in trial and software tycoon larry ellison is that her with her new snapshot shown in court homes enjoying her freedom since her conviction in june damn so what they're trying to say because she got convicted in june and she was enjoying her life in between that she was taking the piss to be fair if you got convicted in june and you know you're going to go to prison you should be taking these pictures in it you should be spending as much time as possible with your loved ones and enjoying your freedom especially if you're pregnant like you should be enjoying yourself because you don't know how it could go to in sentencing so this makes sense these are all really scenic places that she's clearly going to imagine she imagine she has to give birth just before she goes to prison how brutal is that that is brutal so she got to be separated of her baby like you know newborn baby from the minute it's born all the way until she comes out so so she potentially might miss the first 11 years of her flipping child's um life yaza maga they argued that hers was one of the most substantial white collar offenses in silicon valley or any other district that it has seen um but home's defense team who claimed she was well-intentioned and trying to help people said she should spend 18 months under house arrest <laughs> of course they would say that that's a good defense team the judge on friday determined that she actually caused 121 million in losses to investors including rupert murdoch the family that owns walmart and ceo of wells fargo bank the amount she'll be required to repay will be determined at a later court hearing that might be the real reason why she actually went to prison right because she she screwed over people like john was it what's his name james mattis who's a what who's a flipping U, former u.s secretary of defense she screwed over robert murdoch um you know software tycoon La larry ellison like crazy people with with absolute influence clout leverage whatever it may be called so they probably put the screws in and said no she must serve some time we need to get our money back also over 100 friends and family and former friends and employees wrote to a judge to appeal for clemency really among those pleading for a light sentence were two 2020 presidential candidate and um new jersey democrat senator cory booker who wrote that Holmes could despite mistakes make the world a better place. oh my god imagine writing an appeal letter for her man cory booker what are you doing you idiot the group noted that Holmes is a young mother she had her son in july 2021 and is currently pregnant with a second child jesus christ it's not known when she's due to give birth and those expected to try to keep her from entering prison until the baby is born if she has give if she has to give birth in prison there are two residential programs offered by the federal department of prisons according to mercury news however neither is located in california the facilities allows mothers to live with the babies in prison for up to 30 months her partner belly evans is in sentencing member to the court told the judge that he fears for a future of 
which my sons grow up with a, with a relationship with his mother on the other side of a glass armed by guards. Well, she shouldn't have scammed people then, innit? Incarcerated parents are searched thoroughly before limit visits with their children that permit physical contact. Prisoners have to wait in long queues and pay steep fines um, to call family members over the phone. Um, wife uh, of Theranos, former chief of scientists who died by suicide in 2013 after telling technology did not work, continued to blame Hunts for her death. Yeah, imagine you caused the suicide of one scientist like you you deserve to be thrown under the prison rochelle gibbons a widow of ian gibbons said in january that she got a light little satisfaction from home's conviction satisfaction in knowing that she's going to suffer because believe me i've suffered and ian suffered she has shown no remorse for any of the things she has done nothing the youngest self-made billionaire at one point and now you're spending 11 years in prison and you're just you know you're newly pregnant like god almighty but yeah, she probably deserves more, man. Honestly, she probably deserves more. But I'm just surprised she got some time in jail or some time in actual federal prison, which is crazy. And I read you, she probably has to do up to 30, no, up to 85% of the sentence. So it's not like she can come out after a year. She'll still serve a substantial amount of that sentence. So, you know, that's what you get for scamming people, isn't it?